Welcome back to my channel. This is a quick video for a subscriber who was inquiring about the um, amount of copper that is deposited over a given period of time. So this chart is from the book Electroforming uh, by Leslie Curtis. This is an excellent book. It's a gem. And if you want to take a screen capture, this chart shows, so for example, at 0.5 um, amps per square decimeter in the acid copper bath, assuming 100% efficiency, going to deposit 6.665 microns per hour, and it will take 150 hours to deposit one millimeter. So as you increase the amperage, you also increase the uh, plating amount of copper that is plated. So at five amps, you're now going to deposit 66.65 microns in 15 hours. So this tank at 0.5 amps, is no agitation, nothing special. But as you increase the amperage, you need to increase the aeration, the agitation, the temperature, and all your electrical connections have to be beefy, especially for the parts that I'm making. So currently I'm running a part that is 50 decimeters, square decimeters, and the limitations of my setup are around 30 amps. So I'm running it at 0.6 amps per square decimeter approximately so 135 hours um so the part i have going in the basement's been going for three days now. i'll show you that in a second so the part that i derived from the pylon the hub of the turbine this component here this hub is currently running over there in tank number three. So I'll just show you quickly. It's been running for three days. It's running at 30 amps, 2.7 volts. And I'm just gonna shut off the power here. So I fuck myself up, turn off the pump, grab my little light. I got a, um, this is like for scuba diving. So I'm scuba diving light, and let's see what the part looks like. So it goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank. The copper is looking good. And I think uh, I'll pull this out next week, probably Sunday or Monday. I'm not gonna take any chances. I want the part to be solid. It's gotta be hooked up to a motor and spin. So there it is. A little bit about um, tank maintenance. So um, the recipe calls for five ounces of molasses. So what I'm doing is every, I go by visual observation of the copper deposition and I add the molasses and the theoria. Aga aga, as they say. So molasses. Okay, molasses. I'm splitting this between two tanks. pH is okay. I should probably drop it by at least another um, 0.1 pH. I need to get it down to around 0.1. One, sorry, 1.0. Another step, something you have to do throughout the process is adding the theoria. And the way you do this, the way I found is just to, just to sprinkle it in. Um, this recipe I'm using calls for three, sorry, 1.5 teaspoons of theoria per 180 liters. So I have a schedule in which I dose this in. Okay, and finally, 
take a misting bottle and clean up a little bit. Basically just want to make sure that the salts are not, uh, not accumulating. You don't want too much salt 